Okay, we are ready to begin the intention. So we're gonna to breathe together three times. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. In love and light, we hold the intention that everyone watching, listening, or participating in this intention receives healing energy. So they are immediately, completely, and permanently healed and enjoy vibrant health. In love and light, we hold the intention that everyone is watching, listening, or participating in this intention receives healing energy, so they are immediately, completely, and permanently healed and enjoy vibrant health.
in love and light, we hold the intention that everyone watching, listening, or participating in this intention receives healing energy. So they are immediately, completely, and permanently healed and enjoy vibrant health. We give thanks, and so it is. Wow. <laughs> we haven't done this in a while, and you guys are good at this. <laughs> you guys are really good at this. Okay, so I'd love to hear what each of you experience. Let's start with Jessica. Since you were the first one on, on the call tonight, I would love to hear what your experience was like. Great, thank you. For the first time, I started jotting notes down with my eyes closed. So I hope it didn't write over the top of it because I was getting a lot. During the first part of the intention, it popped into my head for Lisbeth and her husband that um, they're taking a supplement or a product that is causing this um, lack of healing. It's something a little in excess that is making them have this unhealed wounds um, or sores. So I wanted to share that. That just came big time. Of course, then it would be to find out what. But, um, and then as we went to the second um, energy, let's see if I can read my notes. Um, okay, so that in each person's body, 
anyone who hears this and sees this that needs healing, including all of us here, um, there was this high energy um, and that we were full of a restorative energy. And then I saw it in the color purple and gold coming at the same time for the first time ever to do with healing for me. Um, and that it was almost like a funnel. Later, I saw a funnel coming to each person. And then it was funny for a moment, it was like from a mothership, I thought, you know, like, and it, it was actually tapping in directly from the divine and pouring this energy, this colored beam to each of us and, um, and to anyone else and all the people that we know of that need healing right now. Um, yeah, and that I think I've shared it all. Oh, it was sort of like a matrix. It reminded me of the movie, The Matrix. You know, they were all plugged into this big energetic place. And um, so it was coming straight from the divine and it created an immediate oneness with the divine. So I thought, well, this is rather powerful. And yes, it I was, is. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. So that's what came that's to me. really cool. Thank you so much for sharing that, Jessica. And it's really funny that you, I keep my eyes open because I do write things down. I get a lot of downloads too. And yeah, it's the only way oh. I can do it. Catherine, I want you to go next because I bet Felix has a few things to share too. <laughs> um, so in the first bit, I got just the group of us sending out like white light to the people who are specifically mentioned um and then each for each of us there were then several others that we knew that we were sending it to as well um and in the second bit it was like a really um sort of intense white glittery light and it sort of went out like comets or meteors or something but there was that fallout along the way for everybody who was along the way of those trails and, um, and then just basically seeing a raised vibration of health and just all good things from that, from basically coming from this group. Yeah. Oh, lovely. That's really great. And a book too. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Lazy. Aha, Mr. Lazy. Excellent. Look Catherine. at the picture. I see, it's yeah. a really cute picture. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that with us. I'm sure that'll make everybody feel much better. It's not very cute. <laughs> Those Mr. Man books are wonderful. <laughs> we go on Thank you. Hello. <laughs> okay, Tana, would you like to share what your experience was like? I wasn't expecting to go so soon. I came in after so many other people. I saw, I was back on Healing Hill. I don't know why this always pops up. It's that hill with the tree. And this tornado came, this big, white, bright tornado of energy and light and sparkles and healing energy. And it had everybody in it that we're focusing on consciously. And it had all of us and everybody else that needed healing. They were just, they were swept up into it and receiving all this healing energy. And during the second part, I realized that I kind of had a headache and I called the tornado over to me, like, come to me, I have a headache. And so the tornado came down over me and I got swept up into it. And I was like, wow, you know, do, have any of you been on those rides? There was one at Magic Mountain where you're in the cylinder and it spins and they drop the floor out and the cylindrical force keeps you against the wall. It was like that, we were all spinning uncontrollably, but having fun, like, woo, this is so much fun. <laughs> Gently let everybody down in their respective places all over the planet. And everyone was wearing white. I don't know if they were wearing white before they got sucked up into the healing tornado, but they were wearing white when they got placed back where they were. And everybody was a little like, oh, a little dizzy, but like, whoa, okay. And everybody was healed and feeling that healing energy and glowing with the energy that was in the healing tornado. And how's your headache now? 
It's gone. It, it was gone very shortly after I got sucked up. <laughs> That's awesome. You should get sucked up more often, I guess. I like it. <laughs> That's great, Anna. Thanks so much for sharing that with us. Peggy, what about you? You've got a huge smile on your face. What was your experience like? Well, it was, it was, it was very fun. And like Catherine, I saw the people that we talked about and that expanded and expanded and was focused on, on not so much the physical, but on the thought processes and then bringing in a lot of gratitude and everyone upon whom we were focused sort of turned gold and had angel wings. And there were angels all around and I'm hearing the hallelujah chorus, which I think would be pretty cool if some of the people here who sing would sing for us. <laughs> and then I saw long horns that the angels were playing coming out of the clouds. Wow. That sounds really cool. <laughs> and, and as an artist, it's such a visual, a stimulating visual. That's really cool. Thank you for sharing that with us, Peggy. Wow. So Robin, Nobody's how did you sing? Yeah, really. <laughs> yes, Nana? I, I, I'd like to go next after sure. Peggy because sure. uh, there's a link. Do Each it. one of us brought our peoples, the people that we wanted to uh, intend for, into a massive stadium. It was like the Tabernacle Choir. And we all formed a choir with this group in front. And the first thing was the divine came and took a few. So took a few. And then the choir burst into song and I did write it down. And we were all going, we are full of vibrant health. Vibrant was the vibrant health. And then the choir began to sing hallelujah. No, uh, no thank you first, some song about gratitude and then the hallelujah chorus. So wow. that's why I wanted to go next, because when Peggy said it, I, I, I heard it. Hallelujah. I can't sing, but. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was uh, finishing off with amen. Wow, that's really beautiful. Thanks for sharing that with us, Mena. So, Dorchi, what I about see. you? You have to unmute. Unmute first. I had a, uh, an image of the whole world being invited. Whoever believes in this being invited to a stadium of flight. And then we're going to the stadium of flight and all these beings and us and the angels, the beings of light, we're all dancing and singing together. And the longer we dance and sing together, the more nimble and better we get at it. So nobody wants to stop. I think we are still dancing and singing there now. <laughs> Absolutely. That's, That's wonderful. And when, when Tana was saying about that uh, hurricane, you know, there's this man more than so that says, about God, he'll lift you up and he'll turn you around and he put your feet back on higher ground. Yes. And that's, that's what came to me. Brilliant. That's really cool. And we definitely have a theme going here. I've, I've got some parts to share too, but Robin, could you unmute yourself and share what your experience was like? We're so glad you were able to join us tonight. Yes. I'm glad to be here. Um, so initially at the beginning, I pictured, um, golden light coming from a, like a waterfall. Okay. It was a waterfall and all of us and all the people in the intention were there and the, the water was washing away all of our 
issues, our health issues and problems and all of that into, and it flowed into like a, a river then that was flowing. And then we kind of all went into this river, almost like when I think about now being cleansed or baptized. Um, and then I felt, and some of that, I, I was trying, I was purposely thinking about the whole group. So I wanted the group in there. But for some reason, and I couldn't have control of this, it's going to sound self-centered, but it isn't. I suddenly got um, this, this, that golden light coming down through my crown chakra and going down through my entire, it's doing it right now as I'm talking, and going all the way down through my entire body and all the way down out into, through my feet, down to Mother Earth. And then I pictured everybody that happening to everyone else. And then I have to tell you, I have right now to the most incredible energy flowing through my body that I've ever had. And I do Reiki and I get polarity all the time from a Reiki master. And I always thought she blew me away with her energy. I've never felt this full of incredible energy. And at first I thought, oh God, this is so selfish. And then I thought, no, no, it's not. There's so much energy here that, and we're all connected. We're all connected. Mm -hmm. So I, the amount of energy that I have will heal the whole, all of us and all of the people that we talked to about and more. Wow. So, <laughs> Thanks, and Robin. I'm, and I'm still, I'm still getting this. It's unreal. I can't even explain it. So. That's what it, it's really funny. You're giving me goosebumps talking yeah. about that. That's really cool. Yeah. Really cool. Thank you. Thank Todd. you, everyone. Todd, could you unmute and share what your experience was like? This is this has been pretty remarkable. <laughs> well, um, I, I was reminded of a, a memorial service I attended today, having a conversation with some ladies there, and really coming to a place of, well, I think we kind of together did it, just seeing our lives a little more in context and being so enabled to forgive, to forgive, to forgive and being reminded to always bless due to the mirror effect. Oh, wow. That's really powerful. Thank you for bringing that in, Todd. Yeah, the mirror effect is definitely an important part that we need to remember. What we give is what we receive. What we see is what is inside us. So why not bless everyone that we meet? That's fabulous. David, what about you? What was your experience like? Um, well, I saw uh, crowds of angels, um, choirs of angels surrounding each person that uh, needed to be healed. And in the individuals would be lifted up into a brilliant white light, so bright that you, it was almost, well, it was, it was like a, it was like they were in a cloud, um, so you you couldn't see them or recognize them anymore. Um, but this light was just so full of energy and, and healing, uh, healing positive energy uh, that, and after a period of time, then they reappeared and gradually came down. Um, completely healed. Beautiful. And then, and I also uh, saw each person uh, having an experience not unlike total amnesia about what their condition was that used to be bothering them, you know, only because someone asked, hey, how are you? How, how's that How's your thing? How's, how's this uh, thing you had? And it's like, what? Oh, oh, yeah, I was feeling so good today. I, I had no, I completely forgot I had that. That is brilliant. Thank you for bringing that in, David. Yeah. That was me. That's great. We don't need to keep what was defining us. We don't need mm. to have that define who we are. Absolutely. And healing can be instantaneous. We have to choose to allow the divine to work through us and heal us. And yeah, it can happen. 
Melly, tough act to follow, man. But you always have incredible words of wisdom. What was uh, your well, you know, I guess I was sort of selfish in a way. I um, thought of these people and yet thought of including me, all of the people that needed healing. There are, it, it started with me and I saw myself with my grandchildren um, with all the every issue that I had, it had been resolved. And then I recently, I have a, a neighbor who was taken to the hospital. They thought, you know, maybe she thought maybe she had a stroke. So I, you know, I imagined her, she was already healed. And my, I have another neighbor that was uh, receiving treatment for lymphoma and I could see her healed. And um, my son's partner who no longer has migraine headaches and, you know, so individuals and anyone that had an issue, those issues were healed and they were smiling and just being, um, so thankful for their, um, how did we put it? Their vibrant health, you know? So, uh, that's what I saw. Absolutely. That's beautiful. And that's perfect. And it's not selfish at all because it flows through you. Mm -hmm. Remember, that's how we do the intention is we yeah. bring it in, you know, we imagine it as that is complete. That is mm -hmm. the new reality. Surround it with love in our hearts and then bless it on to the next person, anybody who needs it or whoever the specific recipient is. Mm -hmm. It is you harnessing the power of the divine. You're like the fire hose aiming the water. Mm -hmm. not the water you're the hose okay and it's really important for you to aim the hose so you did brilliantly and okay. thank you for being such an inspiration to us and sharing that with us that was really good Chantal can't wait to hear what your experience was like um well basically as soon as we started I saw the 12 of us all joined in a circle and we're all holding hands. And as soon as we held hands, we just became this white light. We were a circle of, you could see, still see our silhouette and our, or each other, but we're all just covered with light. And then all these people showed up in the center. Like we, we knew that one of us knew them, but we didn't know them all. And we're just healing them all. And as soon as they were healing, they were like, woo, woo. And it's just like another one appeared, another one appeared. And then around the end, we kind of, all of us white, we kind of disappeared into the earth and we came back into the Zoom. And we reminded each other that without each other right here, is is where we start and by starting right here we just spread all this energy and all this love around around us and that's how the healing goes oh so beautiful Chantal thank you yes when we bring our energy together and focus it we're all amplifying the size of that fire hose <laughs> And it makes a huge difference. It really does. And it's no wonder Robin is humming like she is because yeah, we create a lot of energy with this. I also had a really amazing experience. I immediately got the sense of nature and just green growing nature and that that is our energy too. Um, I saw every atom in our bodies happy dancing. They were just so excited and happy. And I was given this reminder that our thoughts and our words influence our health. Mm -hmm. And so I was told to think, I heal so quickly. I feel so good. I love how I'm always so healthy. I have a strong, healthy body. I love my strong, healthy body. I love that my body heals overnight. So that was like a really great reminder. And um, I saw a lot of dancing and laughter. And I also saw waves of energy going out to everyone, this healing energy going out to everyone. And it showed up as what I call infinity loops. So you call in this divine energy with the intention that we're doing and bring it down into your heart. It actually flows all the way through your body and down into the earth, like what Robin was talking about. 
And then it loops back up into the heavens and comes back down through the next person and down into the earth and loops back up into the heavens and comes back down to the next person. So it's an infinity loop. And as we are pushing healing energy out there, we're amplifying the energy. We're making it even bigger. And then I got the message, infinite love and blessings to you too, divine. And that closes the loop. It juices the loop. <laughs> I don't know if I'm explaining that very well, but it's not just we are asking for blessings and heal me. We then return the blessings with love and gratitude and send it back to the divine so that it can be reused and repurposed and amplified even more for even more people to benefit. So that was my experience. Oh, wow. We're really good at this. <laughs> okay.